Okay, friends, so today is November 3rd, and this is the first frosty, full frosty morning that we've had here. So I went ahead and uh, took half a day of work today, and I'm going to try again on this buck. Maybe he'll move. The bad thing is I haven't had him on camera since uh, October 25th or 26th, so i uh, a little worried about that. But... Uh, try again and uh, do a, do some few hours sit here in the morning and uh, then head on back to work but uh, I think I think this morning it'll be moving good it's a good frost it's about 30 degrees so I'm gonna give it a try that's all I can do I thought this would be a good morning. <clears throat> I gambled, took some time off from work. This is the worst morning I've had this year. I don't understand it. Two does at daybreak in the feeder, that was it. There's nothing on their feet, nothing. This is a bummer, but um, that's why I called hunting. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up, and get out of here, and uh, head into work for the rest of the day. Guys, it's Saturday, November 6th. Still hunting. Just had a doe come in. And had one blow. Down below me, so... I'll go ahead and just let y'all know what's going on. It's, it's cold. Still trying to find that mature buck, so stay with me. This will probably be the last chapter of Bo for the Homestead 10. Hunt today, hunt tomorrow, and then uh, that'll be about all I'll get for archery sets on this deer. Uh, next weekend, going to camp. And then got the rifle season coming up after that, so. All right. Stay with me. We'll keep at it. Okay, friends, coming out of the woods, uh, no good, but I promise I'd take my puffin. 
to lunch today. So taking my daughter to lunch. We're gonna go get some lunch, get some grub in me, and then head back up for the evening hunt. Hopefully it'll be a little bit better evening. So what do you think? Think it'll be a good evening? I don't know, it's cold. <laughs> they probably wanna stay warm. They probably won't go out. We like it when it's cold. But uh, all right, so I'll check back out. Mm. Bye, you have a good day. You too, thank you. <laughs> okay, friends, going back in. Um, uh, I think it's about 2.30, November 6th, went out, had to shed some clothes, it got warm, it's like 55 degrees now, and it was 24 this morning. Um, I took my daughter out for lunch, and uh, she's down at the house with her brother, and mommy's on a girls weekend trip, so I'm hunting here by the house, and continue the quest for the Homestead 10. So. Homestead 10, I think I got him. He came in below me. I thought I had the camera on it. on the trail guys you can see he kicked my kicked my arrow out this is the blood that I got doesn't look bad
We'll go a little ways. See what I can find. Guys, I'm upset. I was so excited. Um, I'm gonna go back in the morning and look for him. Um, I found my era. So if we compare it, looks like I got maybe four inches penetration. Must have hit him right in the shoulder. When I hit him, he flipped over, hit the ground, got up, ran about 20 yards, went down. I thought it, I punched through the shoulder and got the uh, lung. But upon further investigation of the blood, it did not look like uh, look like lung. Only thing I can hope is that the broadhead gets cuts in, gets uh, some veins or arteries. I'm sick. I uh, I haven't done this in a long time. I take uh, very seriously taking an animal's life and, uh, and when I do I want it to be clean quick and ethical and uh, I, I do not like this um, if you bow hunt long enough you guys know this happens it just hasn't happened to me for a long time I'm not out of the count yet I'm gonna go back and look tomorrow Spend some time, but uh, I went from the high to highs to low to lows, and uh, I don't know. I could just edit all this out and say that I hunted for him and didn't see him, and that was the end, but um, <clears throat> you know, the, this is hunting, and I hate it. I'm sure he'll expire, if not now, infection, but, you know, I'm out meat, and uh, I got a lot of time on that deer, but, um, oh well, I'm going to get up early tomorrow and uh, do it, go after it if I don't find him. Uh, I think I'm going to take a break. I'll uh, get everything ready for rifle season at the hunting camp. But I think I'm going to take a, a break from bow hunting because uh, this will bother me. This will bother me for a while. All right, get back to you guys later. Hello, everybody. It's the next morning. Um, it's about... 9.30 with the fall back, so 10.30. <clears throat> so I'm going to go look the last place I have found blood. I measured my air this morning. I got about five inches of penetration, so if I did hit the shoulder, what I'm hoping is that I caught some lung um, and he, he filled up last night and died. Looking at my shaft, there was a lot of meat and bones, so obviously I hit shoulder. Um, so I'm going to try. I always give 100% on, on on any animal. I'm not just going to say, ah, oh, well, I tried. No, I'm going to try everything I can. And my main goal is to pick up the second spot of blood from where, where I lost it last night. So I'm going to go ahead and try and uh, see what I can find out. Okay, well, everybody... I gave it, give it my all. I did find a wee little speck of blood about 100 yards from my last spot. I opened up 360, 360, 360, circled, circled the areas. And I tracked him to where I could tell it looked like he was limping down a trail, but uh, no blood. Don't know where he went. I, I honestly, I think he'll live. But uh, either way, it's, it sucks. 
Um, I wish I would've, I got so excited he was coming up, I turned the camera but didn't hit play because then I could evaluate the shot better. I was just so excited he was coming in. And, uh, you know, I, I that, that feeling, you know, I'm, I'll be 44 years old next week. And I've had that, that rush, that excitement since I was, you know, hunting since I was 11. So, um, if I ever lose that, then I'll quit hunting. But uh, it's days like this that uh, I get very frustrated. <clears throat> but that's hunting. Um, I think he'll live. I really do. I'll put the camera out, but uh, I'm not going to bow hunt here anymore until maybe after the gun seasons and do take some dough out and if he shows back up on camera I'll boy I'll feel a lot better about that but uh, you know this stuff happens and uh, I hope that had a better uh, ending for this but uh, the hunt for the homestead 10 closed the books for it this year and uh, going to start getting ready for gun season, go up to hunting camp probably this weekend, get stuff set up, and then the following following weekend we'll be spending, I'll be spending four or five days up there. So uh, looking, looking forward to that. Uh, regroup and uh, try it again. But uh, I'm just fortunate I took that, that buck in Ohio early because uh, my time is, you know, really really winding down for bow you know that's another flip side to this being so frustrated you know when you work 50 60 hours a week and then get windows to hunt and blow it but uh, that's hunting and uh, it may not be a good memory but it's still a memory I'll have on this buck so I hope he survives hope he makes it through and uh, we'll go from there but sorry guys but uh, as always stay safe and I'll see you all in the next video.